everyone, my name is Stefan Reinhardt. I'm a general dentist and I'm here to talk to you about recommendations for a patient undergoing a clear aligner treatment during this pandemic. Millions of patients have been treated with clear aligners. Millions of patients are probably in treatment right now and a lot of, of you are I mean, you have questions. You're wondering what, what to do during this time where you, for a lot of you, cannot see a dentist, cannot see your orthodontist. So how do you manage your treatment? This video will answer these questions. Um, I will tell you what to do during your treatment during this time of pandemic, how to handle your treatment. Uh, what, what to do if you're at your last aligner, what to do if you lost your aligner, what to do if you broke your aligner, what to do if you broke your retention uh, aligner or retention wire. Uh, I will cover all these uh, issues and give you some recommendation. And the goal is, um, the goal is that when you see your, your dentist or your orthodontist after this pandemic, that you will be able to hold everything in place. You worked hard for, for your treatment to get where you are now. And I want to make sure that you will not lose what you gain. So if you follow these guidelines, if you follow these recommendations, you will make, I mean, you will give yourself all the chances to hold everything in place. And then you will be able to continue your treatment uh, with your dentist and orthodontist after this crazy pandemic is finished. Most dentists and orthodontists in, in Canada and USA um, will limit their, their treatments to only emergencies in this pandemic, mean, meaning they will treat infection, they will treat uh, trauma, they will treat severe pain, uh, they will treat any situation that requires immediate attention. Now, in the context of clear aligners, um, the true emergencies are practically inexistent. And that's, I mean, it's an advantage. It's one of the big advantages of this, of this technique, but still you, you may have questions. And it's normal to have questions, and this is why I'm doing this video, and I wa want to answer all your questions. Patient in treatment with clear aligners uh, have received some recommendations from their dentist or their orthodontist the last time they saw them. So the last time you saw your dentist or orthodontist, they gave you recommendations. They told you maybe to change them every week, every two weeks, every three days, every five days, it's different for everyone. The idea is to follow the recommendations you had from your dentist or orthodontist. Do not change that. But when you reach the last active tray that they gave you, reduce the time to eight hours. Do not wear them full time. Wear them as maintenance appliance. The idea is to keep everything in place. Teeth have a tendency to move. They have always have a tendency to go back to their original position. So if we don't hold them in place, they, they, they will go back to where they were. And you do not want that. We do not want that either. I mean, I know I understand you. You like your dentist and your orthodontist, but it doesn't mean you want to spend more time with them. I'm sure of that. So the idea is to maintain, do not stop wearing your aligners. Repeat after me. Do not stop wearing your aligners. T should not be naked. That's it. So wear them at night, wear them like it's, they're like little pajamas for your teeth. So you go to sleep, you brush your teeth, you floss, put your pajamas, you wear your pajamas for your teeth, same thing. Um, they become maintenance appliance. Like the same thing as, I mean, when you will finish your treatment, you will have maintenance appliance, appliance to wear at night. 
it's the same thing. So you do that until you can have another appointment where your dentist or your orthodontist. Now you might say, oh, you know, but I know the last time you, they took impression. I was supposed to have a new set of trays and they probably received the new set of trays. They can send them to me or they can. The thing is, it's sometimes forbidden uh, to do that according to our code of ethics, depending where we practice. So call your dentist, call your orthodontist and ask them uh, if they can do it, they will do it, but they, they, it may differ from uh, provinces or uh, the states but if they can do it they will probably do it and if they can't you will have to you will have to wait um, what to do if you broke your aligners let's say uh, you you have your tray you have 10 trays you're at number five and you broke number five just go to the next one go to number six and double the time of wear uh, maybe you're at the last one say yeah okay but I'm not, I, I had 10 trays I met number 10 I broke number 10 or I, I just lost it. I don't know where it is well then you just go back to the previous one my recommendation on this is keep at least three sets of aligners and even I mean I tell my patients in treatment to keep all their aligners you have the bag so when you finish wearing an aligner let's say they change every every week when you finish with one aligner, you just brush it very well and you put the aligner back in the bag. You have the number of everything. So if you lose one or you break one, you always can go back to the, the previous one. You will not be in trouble with that. Um, let's say you lost an attachment. Um, it doesn't change anything. Attachments, little things that were bonded on your teeth to hold the aligner in place or to help in some, some movements. Uh, if you just if you lose one or lose a couple, it doesn't matter. It will not compromise your treatment. Just again follow the what the recommendation that were given to you at your last appointment. Continue wearing your liners until the last active one. Then you wear them at night only. Maybe you had elastics. Maybe you're wearing elastics with your liners and uh, you were them you were supposed to wear them full time uh, just reduce the time to night time only so if you were supposed to wear your elastics every day all day now only wear them at night wear your elastic at night only when you sleep and your dentist and orthodontist will tell you what to do after this pandemic at your next appointment maybe you had buttons uh, that were bonded or glued on your teeth to hold the elastics and maybe you lost some buttons and you cannot put your elastics anymore not a problem take a break don't wear your elastics and you start again when you go back to your dentist but do not stop wearing your aligners please 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 if you have one thing to remember it's this continue wearing your aligners to hold everything in place now maybe you finished your treatment maybe you had a treatment a couple of years ago and now you are in retention you are wearing aligners at night you may have a, a bonded wire uh, that we put on the, the back of the teeth if you have it in front of your teeth it's because your dentist or your orthodont orthodontist really didn't like you it's supposed to be in the back yeah so if you have one uh, uh, wire like this and let's say your wire is uh, partially or completely unglued if it's completely unglued I mean it's not really a problem it's not causing any pain um, of course the teeth may move a little bit but after the pandemic I mean we will put another one um, if it's just partially unglued and it maybe it's poking your tongue or the uh, the gums and it, it's it's hurting you or it's irritating or you can take a little nail clipper like this and just try to cut the part of the wire that is uh, causing the pain you can take also um, a nail a file and try to file a little part of the wire that is uh, irritating because it can be it doesn't take 
a lot to be irritating for the tongue or the you know the tongue is always there so uh, you can take some orthodontic wax uh, you can find that in the drugstores pharmacies uh, they will sell that orthodontic wax you put a little bit of wax there just to relieve from from the pain uh, if you have severe irritation I mean call your dentist or orthodontist they will see if you're in need for exceptional measures and they will evaluate your your situation but usually with the nail clipper you know or the, the file you can you can uh, manage to to uh, do something with that if you have removable retainers and uh, I mean you you lose your retainer you don't have uh, your retainer anymore because you don't know where it is uh, you just your search everywhere and it's not there anymore if you kept some of your aligners when you were in treatment you can try the last one see if it fits um, if it doesn't fit I mean there's not much we can do but you can still uh, try go to a drugstore pharmacy and try to buy a sport mouth guard something you bite into uh, that will make a, like an impression of your teeth and wear it at night it's not perfect it's not ideal but it's better to have that than have nothing you can do the same thing again if you're if you had your a, a lingual wire that is completely unglued uh, you could do the same thing go buy something that you can you know so you put it in, in hot water it will melt a little bit you bite in it it will harden and it will help keep your teeth in the position where they are remember the thing is really to hold everything in place if you hold everything in place you will not lose anything you will just start you I mean you're only losing the time that we cannot see you so it may I mean be a couple of weeks we don't know we still don't know but at least you will not go back to where it was another situation we have is I don't know if you have a dog but dogs they love these things they really do so maybe you lose maybe you lost your aligners but maybe your dog ate it how to know well you just ask your dog who ate my aligner it's not me it's not me yeah I ate your aligner any problem with that so I mean remember your treatment will not be compromised if you follow this uh, you have you have enough to worry uh, about right now so just hold everything together take care take care of yourself be safe take care of your loved ones and be patient with your kids everything will be okay be patient with your kids